Hi, I'm Padelis. I work at ABC, and I really like to read. But since I've started my PhD, the time that I had to read really shrank. And I managed to read the following three books. I read Die Bullenbrooks for Thomas Mann. I read um, Die Vermessung der Welt from Daniel, Kalman, Daniel Kellman. And I managed to read um, Herr Lehmann from Sven Regener. Now, I come into a bookstore, and I come across those two books that I've heard about from my friends. Die Verloren RF de Katharina Blum von Heinrich Boll and um, Fiesta von Ernest Hemingway. So, which of those two, two books should I choose? One way to go about solving this problem would be to rely on the opinions of other people that have already read the books and evaluated them. So, I actually have a bunch of friends who are bookworms and have already read the books that I've read, but also have evaluated the books that I want to read. So, let me introduce you to my friends. This is Astrid, Stefan, Daniel, and Pake. So, one way to summarize all the information in that table and make a decision would be to take the mean. So I could aggregate all the information and then look at the mean and then that would indicate that Ernest Hemingway is better than Heinrich Boll and then I would just pick Fiesta. But is this a good decision? Actually, most decisions that we make in everyday life are about matters of taste. So there is no sense of universal, universal truth about them, but rather our taste might be more similar or less similar to the taste of other people. So, if I could find a similar individual. So, for example, in that table, if you look carefully, you'll see that me and Daniel have evaluated the same books with the same, exactly the same grades. So, maybe Daniel is my taste doppelganger, and I could just <laughs> let him make all the decisions before me, evaluate everything that is out there, and then I would just pick whatever he chooses. So, those two strategies, just follow your doppelganger or take them in, can be seen as the extreme of a continuum of strategies. Um, and all possible combinations can emerge. So, for example, I could take Daniel and Astrid and exclude the opinion of Stefan and Perke, or I could weight everybody here according to their similarity with my own taste. So, which of, the, of all those possible strategies is the best for me to use? So, this is exactly the question that we started with my colleagues. Stefan Herzog and Daniel Barcozzi. So what we did is we took a really big data set that um, has been studied by a computer scientists to uh, develop uh, recommender system algorithms that are used in uh, sites like Amazon and um, Netflix. And what we did is we analyzed psychological strategies that people might use in order to make decisions. And what we found is that it's actually a twofold answer. If you're really experienced in reading books, then what you should do is look for similar individuals and then aggregate the opinions of several individuals among your friends. Um, on the other hand, if you're not experienced in reading books, then you should just take the uh, unconditional mean. And why is that? So as you accumulate experience, you are also more skilled in calculating your similarity with other people. So you can really uh, find out who has the same taste with you. And that information then is helpful. So you can really make something out of it. So that's my tip for tonight. And I hope that helps you to make decisions in your everyday life, like picking your next vacation, or which film you'll go next, or um, in which venue you'll go for the next long night of the sciences. So thank you very much. <laughs>